What comes to mind when I ask the question, what produces electromagnetic energy? Maybe the sun or a campfire? How about you? Because the fact is, everything with a temperature above absolute zero emits electromagnetic energy. This energy everything radiates is called black body radiation. Just as ranges of electromagnetic energy across the spectrum can be characterized by their wavelength and frequency, we can look at the spectrum of black body radiation. A chart is a good way to visualize patterns in black body radiation. On the x-axis is wavelength. It is a log scale with low energy, long wavelength microwave radiation on the right and higher energy, shorter wavelength ultraviolet light on the left. This puts infrared energy what we perceive as heat, right in the middle of the chart, and higher energy visible light to the left of that. Now consider an object at room temperature, about 300 Kelvin. The energy this object radiates peaks at the low end of the infrared range. This is within the range of energies we perceive as heat. Since our normal body temperature is about 310 Kelvin, this is what our black body radiation looks like. As we get up into the region where things like wood and gas burn, most of the radiation is still in the infrared, that is heat region, but some is high enough energy for us to perceive it as visible light. As we get even warmer, more and more higher energy radiation is produced. At the temperature of the sun, the radiation peaks in the visible range, which is why the sun looks yellow to us. And in addition to infrared heat and visible light, the sun emits large quantities of higher energy UV and ionizing radiation. At even higher temperatures, more UV and ionizing radiation is produced. On the other end of the spectrum, objects well below room temperature still radiate electromagnetic energy, but this energy is below the infrared region of the spectrum. Based on the information in this chart, we can ask questions like where is the flame from this lighter hottest? and be able to infer from the color that the blue region at the base of the flame is radiating the highest energy electromagnetic waves and therefore is the warmest part of the flame. 